Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is this ombre spiked granny chevron. I love this blanket. I have I have had this blanket for a long time, done actually, in a, a chatting with Alana. Um, it's been a while ago. I showed this and I've had it done since then and or not since. Well, no, I didn't finish it then, but I've had it done for a while and I've just been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off to do the tutorial and I finally got it ready and everything ready to go to sit down and film the tutorial. So first I want to apologize that I've had this done for so long and haven't filmed it. And uh, yeah, so anyway, okay, so this blanket is what I wrote it down. Where is it at? 44 inches wide. I have it folded in half. It's 44 inches wide by 53 inches long. So this is an, a bigger sized baby blanket. Um, it, I'd say it's more of a, it'd be perfect for a toddler, like three, four, five, maybe six years old, uh, good size baby blanket. Um, I didn't intend for it to be that long. I just kind of was like, oh, we'll try this and see how it works. <laughs> and then I was like, I love this. Uh, so there's the measurements for that. Now, um, I want to talk about the yarn I used. Now, I use Hirschner's. Let me just first off. Hirschner's has a gradient yarn pack. And I'll put a link in the description box for you guys to so you can click on those. And it has the yarn in the gradient color already. There's a green... There's a red, there's the blue, a purple, and then they have a, a black, a dark gray, a light gray, and then a white. I thought that one would be really, really pretty too. And I think they have another color, but I can't remember what it is. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description box. But what I have is the blue... And I started my blanket with the darkest, which is the Midnight. Now, this is Hirschner's Worsted 8 yarn, 100% acrylic. It's 489 yards. So, it's I mean, it's just a regular four-weight acrylic yarn. I mean, there's nothing fancy about it. So, I mean, you could use any four-weight you want to. Um, so, like I was saying, I started with the darkest color. I have cat hair all over this. I started with the darkest color of the pack, and that is Midnight. And then, so, like, here's the darkest. So, then I went to this blue, which is Royal. And then I went to the lighter blue, which is China blue. And then I went to the lightest blue, Sterling. And that's why that's what I repeated. I repeated the darkest to darker, or I mean the darkest to lighter to lighter to the lightest, the darkest to lighter, lighter, lightest. And that's what I repeated for this afghan. Now you can definitely do it in the reverse. So where you start with the lightest and go to the lighter, lighter, darkest. I think that, I mean, it would just be like this besides the spike part. I think that would be really pretty that laid back out um so that was the color choices I went with this but you guys can use any four weight yarn you want to uh so the stitch multiple for this baby blanket is 18 plus 7 so any multiple of 18 plus 7 so this was 187 so I took 18 times 10 which is 180 you just add the zero and then add then plus 7 so 187 and that's how it got my blanket this uh, wide and then I just worked it until I liked the length. Um, so any multiple of 18 plus 7. So uh, be aware that you know when you work that chain of so let's just use this as an instance so I don't have to do math. 18 times 10 so I chained 180 then add 7 so 187 that long chain is gonna phew, uh, it's going to get a lot shorter once we work that chevron. So keep that in mind too. So, you know, if you don't want yours as big as mine is, you know, knock off two 18s. So knock off like, knock off 36 and then add your seven. So, um, so that would be 18 times eight plus seven. 
Anyway, so that's your stitch count, okay? So I'm going to move this. Let's talk about what we're going to need. So I showed you the yarn. You're obviously going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a six millimeter crochet hook. And then get you a needle to weave in your ends. And I suggest a good one because you're going to have a lot of ends. And what, what I suggest you do is work them as you go. Because once you get this done, there's a lot of them to weave in. And it's like, it's can get a little overwhelming. And I, you know, if you're, if you're crocheting along and you're like, I need a break, just take a break from crocheting and, you know, weave in some ends for a little bit. You'll be thankful you did. <laughs> all right. And that's all you're going to need. I mean, I know this looks a little complicated. It's, it's not, it's really easy, but let's talk about the row repeat that we're going to have. So we have our row one and then we have two and then three. Now three is the exact same thing as row two. The only difference is we're fastening off and changing color. So then we have row four. And then we have repeat row two, repeat row three. So row three, we fasten off, change color, go to row four. And we have our spiked granny on the row four. That's what's the difference between the other rows. And all that is, is a double crochet worked into the double that you're working right above. I mean, the shell you're working right above. I'll ex I explain it in the video better. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I need to talk about? I don't think there is. So get your guys' supplies together and let's, oh, your, uh, don't, your chain count, get your chain count that you want. Okay. Get your, get that chained and then we're going to get started. All right. So get that together, get your chain done and let's go. Okay guys. So once you have your, uh, chain count worked out, figured out how wide or how long you want your chain to be, go ahead and get your chain done and come back here. Now I've got a little sample done since I've gotten my blanket done already. Mine, um, I did 18, what was it, 18 times 3 plus 7, 61. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Row 1, we are going to work 3 double crochet into the 7th chain from our hook. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 six, seven. So I'm going to work three double crochet in there. Now we're going to skip two chains, skip two, and now we're going to shell into the next chain, into the next chain. So shell is three double crochet. One, two, three. And I'm going to say that throughout the pattern shell, you know, shell into the next chain. Um, instead of, instead of saying three double crochet, sorry, I'm getting some slack. <laughs> okay. Now back to the pattern. All right. So we worked with three into the seventh chain from our hook. Skip two, shell into the next, skip two, and then we're going to shell into the next. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Now we're going to skip five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And into that very next chain right there, we're going to work another shell. And what we're doing is creating the valley of the chevron. So work your shell into the sixth. We skip five into the next. We work our shell. And if I lay this down, you can see how it naturally just wants to lay angled. And that's our valley. Okay. So now we skip two. Skip, skip into the next, work our shell. Okay. 
All right, now we're gonna skip two and into the next chain, we're gonna work the peak. And the peak is uh, three double crochet, chain two, and then right back into that same chain, three double crochet. So we skip two into the next, we work our peak, three double, chain two, and go back in there for three double. And that is our peak. So now if I lay it down again, you can see how it's already created the boop boop. Okay, now we're gonna come back down to our peak. So we skip two, shell into the next. Skip two, shell, you see that? Skip two, shell into the next. So if you notice, we have not our beginning part, but right here, we have our valley, two shells, peak two shells, now we're gonna work the valley. So it, our valleys and our peaks are gonna be separated by two shells. All right, so I've got my peak here, my two shells, so I'm gonna skip one, two, three, four, five. And then into that next chain, we're gonna work our shell. And I'm trying to keep this first double crochet of the shell after the valley, um, trying to keep that not tight, but don't let it get real long and stretched out. Okay. So there's our valley. Now we got one shell, we need one more shell. So we skip one, two, and into the next, we work our another, sh another shell. Now you can see valley, shell, shell, peak, shell, shell, valley, shell, shell, peak. <clears throat> okay, so I got my two shells. I'm going to skip two chains and into that next chain work my peak, which again is the I should just say shell, chain two, shell into the same chain. Chain two. Dang it, get in there. One, two, three. All right, so now <clears throat> we're gonna skip two, shell into the next. Skip two, skip two chains, shell into the next. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here and I want you guys to repeat that across. Repeat your, um, try to find something to point with. Repeat your valley, you know, your valley to shell, peak, two shell, valley, two shell, peak, two shell, valley. Oh, excuse me. Repeat that across. So you skip five chains for your valley into the next with a shell, skip two chains, shell into the next, skip two cha chains, peak into the next chain, skip two chains, shell, skip two chains, shell, skip five chains for your valley, shell into the next, Skip two chains, shell, skip two chains, valley, and repeat that across your guys' chain, okay? And then when we get to the end, this is what you should have uh, all the way across to the end. So we've got our peak, shell, shell, 
So I'm ready for my valley. So I skip one, two, three, four, five into the very next chain with my shell. Skip two chains, shell into the next. Skip two chains, and then we should be into that very last chain. And can you guys guess what we need to work into that very last chain? We have our valley, shell, shell, peak, shell, shell, valley, shell, shell, very last chain gets the peak. So that's the shell, chain two, go right back into that same chain with the shell. All right, and that is the end of row one. So this is what your piece should be looking like. We have the get it on camera we have the chain seven here and we have three shells and then we go into our pattern with our valley two shell peak two shell valley and our, your valley will roll up like that but that's all right it ain't gonna hurt nothing um where was i peak shell shell valley shell shell peak shell shell valley shell shell and then you end with a peak okay so that's the end of row one and to move on to round two, row two, I'm sorry, row two, we are going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and turn. Okay, so I need to turn my pattern page. Okay, so for row two, we're holding our work and right into the chain two of our very first peak right there, Right into that very first chain two, we're gonna work three double crochet. One, two, three, just like that, okay? Now in between the next two shells, so that gap right there, right between there, we're gonna shell. So we're gonna go right in there and work a double crochet, or I mean a double crochet shell, I should say, sorry. Give me some slack. All right. And now we work a shell into the next space. One. Oops. Two. Three. So now we're to our valley. So we have our beginning chain. Three shell. And now we start with our repeat, skip the valley. So to skip, all we're going to do is just jump straight across. Just like we, just like we're skipping the, um, the chain five, just pretend like it's here. And all we're doing is just jumping right across. And that's what creates the valley of the chevron. So make sure you work that first double crochet pretty nice or not nice, but uh, tighter so that it's not really stretched out and then finish your shell. Okay, see how it dips? All right, now we got one shell before our peak and we have the next space where we're gonna work our next shell. <laughs> that was my stomach. <laughs> I haven't eaten breakfast, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, so we have our valley shell shell and we're up to our peak. So now we work our peak into the chain two of the peak of our previous row. So that's a shell, chain two, go right back in there with our shell. All right, and now we come down to our valley. So we work a shell into the next space, right in there. Then we shell into the next space, and then we skip our valley shell into the next space, shell into the next space, you're at your peak. 
and now we come back down to the towards the valley so we got a shell in the next space shell in the next space and there's our valley so we jump right across skip shell into the next space shell into the next space so i want you guys to repeat that across and all you're doing is working shells into the spaces between the previous row shell and we're still keeping the two shell peak two shell valley two shell peak two shell valley okay so shell shell peak shell shell valley shell shell peak shell shell valley so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys repeat that row, row two across and I'm going to come back when we get to the end, okay? Alrighty, so we have repeated that. Oh, I adjust my seat. Repeated that across. We've got our, there you can see it, our peak, two shell, skip valley, two shell, peak. Two shell, skip valley. <laughs> skip valley two shell and now we're to the end and we've got this chain seven right here or chain six actually and can you guys guess what we're going to work into that well we got our peak shell shell valley peak or i'm sorry shell shell peak so into that chain oop that's not the right hook into that chain six space right here we're going to work a peak So shell, chain two, shell. All right, so that is the end of row two. And like I said, the, the chains from skipping at the beginning, skipping the valleys at the beginning is gonna curl up on us, but that's all right. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. I thought about putting fringe along the top and the bottom of the blanket but I was like nah, still not the project I've been I don't know how long it's been that I have wanted to put fringe at the top and the bottom of a baby blanket and I just I, I've got to find the right one and it's just I just haven't made it yet <laughs> all right so to uh to um move on to row three we're going to chain four and turn and what we're going to do is repeat row two so right into the top of that shell or into the top of that peak, we're going to work one shell. And then we're going to shell into each space between the next shells, the next two. So one, two, and then we're to our valley. So we skip, skip this, shell into the next space, and then to the next space, and then peek into the chain two of our previous row's peak. So it's the same thing. Shell, shell, skip the valley. Shell, shell, peak. Shell, shell, skip the valley. Shell, shell, peak. All right. So repeat that. Get off me. Repeat that across, and I'm going to meet you when we get to the end, okay? Okay. So I've repeated that across, and I've got my peak, uh, shell, shell, valley, peak, peak. <laughs> <laughs> Peak, shell, shell, valley, shell, shell, peak, shell, shell, valley, shell, shell, and we're to the end. Into that chain four, we're going to work our peak. One, two, three doubles, chain two, one, two, three okay so now we are going to change colors all right so to change colors we're gonna chain one pull up a loop and cut pull that and there we go all right so now in my color sequence I ha I started with the darkest now I'm gonna go to the um, next lightest <laughs> the next I'm going to go to the shade lighter, one shade lighter. So I'm going to go, which in mine is royal. All right, so get a slip knot on your hook. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach 
right into the top of that last double crochet that we worked right into the top of that and chain four one two three four I'm going to tighten up that slip knot. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my work. And now we're going to start uh, row four. Okay, so row four, it's pretty similar to row two. The only difference is this row is where we start the spiked uh, shells. Okay, so into that first chain two, we're going to work our three double, just like normal. Okay, now we're going to come to our next space just like we would with our normal shell. And we're going to start with one regular double. And then the second double crochet, we are going to work into the top of the double crochet that is actually two rows below. So like this row would be one row below. This is two rows below. So the shell you're working right above, we're going to work that middle double crochet right into the top of it just like a normal double crochet but you're going to be working over the space over the um the stitches not the stitches basically what we're doing is working over the top of the double last double crochet and the last double well first double and last double right here so we're going to get, come down and insert your hook right into the that the top of that middle double right there. Grab your working yarn from behind and then we're going to bring it and pull it up, but watch my watch the uh, yarn on my hook. See how it shifted just a little? And then we're going to work that double. And then we're going to go back into the space, not into the double, but into the space. So you might need to wiggle your fingers in there and then you're going to find the space and work a double. So it's the spa same space that that first double crochet is into. And then we come down, double into the top of that double, bring your loop up and then sh give it just a little more height and then finish your double. So that's the spiked. Okay, so we're going to do that. Ah. into the next space double like normal and now we're going to work the spiked so we yarn over come down to that middle double from two rows below grab your yarn pull it up and then shift it up just a little and finish the double and now we got to get double into the space the same space that first doubles into so wiggle your fingers in there if you need to till you find your space and then work your double. So that's the spiked. So we're to the valley, so we're gonna skip the valley and now work our spiked shell. Go in, grab your yarn, pull it up, finish the double, and then double into the space. One more time. Normal double crochet come down into the top of the double from two rows below, grab your yarn, pull it up, adjust just a little bit for some more extra height, finish your double, and then go back into the same space and double. So that's our spiked granny, okay? All right, so now we're to our peak and we just work our normal peak. Shell chain two, go back in there and work a shell. Okay. So I think you guys got a pretty good handle. I mean, it's the same thing. All we're doing is just working that little spiked double crochet. All we're doing is working it into the double that we're working right above that work into the middle double of the shell. We're working right above. Okay. So I think you guys can handle that. We still have our two, I'm going to say spike shells. We have our two spike shells, valley, two spike shells, peak, two spike shells, valley, two spike shells, peak, two spike shells, valley, two spike shells. Can you guess what's going to go into the last? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to work mine over or I mean across and I'm going to meet you guys when we get to that end. All right. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> All right. I worked that across. I've got my 
two spikes uh, shells and into the last chain four, we're going to work our peak. So one, two, three doubles. Chain two and three doubles. Okay, so now we just chain four and turn. Two, three, four. And then we repeat the normal double crochets. So we repeat rows uh, two, and then we're going to repeat row three. So we just sh uh, shell into the top of that chain three, or chain two, shell, shell, skip your valley, shell, shell, peak, shell, shell, skip your valley, shell, shell, peak. So just like row two we did earlier. So double into the very first chain two. I'm sorry, shell into the very first chain two. Shell into the next. Uh, space between your shells. Shell into the next space. Skip your valley, shell into the next space. Watch that first double. Shell into the next space. And then we're to our peak, so we work our peak. Three, or I'm sorry, shell. Ooh, my yarn got wonky there. Chain two and shell. Okay, so I think you guys can handle this on your own. We've we've done it several times already. <laughs> so we shell, shell, skip your valley. Shell, shell, peak. Shell, shell, skip your valley. Shell, shell, and I'm going to meet you here, okay? Be right back. Okay, so I've repeated that across. We're to the last chain space or chain four, and that gets the peak. One. Shell, chain two. And. Shell. All right. So that was the end of row, uh, row five, which row five was, we just repeat row two. So row six, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to repeat row three. Now, I don't want you to get confused. The reason why it's row two and row three, because, I mean, row three, we do the exact same thing as row two. But row three, the only difference is we fasten off our yarn. So that's why there, I didn't say uh, row three is you repeat row two. Because it's technically not, because at the end of row three, we fasten off, and that's when we change colors. So we have one, two, three four, repeat row two, repeat row three. So that way every three rows we change color. All right, so I am going to go ahead and finish my, or not finish, but move on to our next row. So we chain one, two, three, four. And turn. And into that, so we're going to repeat row three. And row three is into that very first chain two. We work one shell. And then shell into the next space. And the next space, skip your valley. Shell, shell, peak, shell, shell, valley. Shell, shell, peak, shell, shell, valley. So you guys repeat that across again. And I will meet you when we get to the end. Okay, so I've repeated that across. We're to the end, to that chain four, right there. And I work my peak. One, two, three, chain two. Go right back in there with another shell, three double crochet. All right, and to end, we chain one, pull up a loop, 
and cut. So what we have is row one, two, three. Okay. So two and three, the pattern, I like, like, I want to go through this and explain it so you guys don't get confused or I'm not unintentionally confusing you. So row one, we're working in our chains, right? So row two, we double crochet or we shell, I'm sorry, into the spaces. Row three, the exact same thing that we just did on row two. The only difference is we, over here, cut and fasten off. We change color and we start row four. Now row four is where we work start our spiked grannies. That's what gives it that pop of um, design in it. And then we start row two. We repeat row two. So we double or we shell into each space between the shells, right? Row three, we work the exact same thing we did for row two. The only difference is we fasten off and then we attach a new color and work row four. And then we work row two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three which we repeat all the way until you get to the desired length that you want for your blanket. which I have right here. So we worked four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four spike granny, two regular granny chevron, three regular granny chevron, just fasten off at the end. Attach new color, just like we did at the beginning. We're gonna do that through the entire afghan and repeat that. So you change color every three row. And I wanted to explain that because that's why I, on uh, row three, I just didn't say repeat row two because technically the only difference is we're fastening off. Okay. All right. So that's it. You just work that and work that and work that as long as you want it to. And I made the point to stop on the same color I started with. So here's what I, my dark blue that I started and I ended on the dark blue. So I kept it in the three color, or I'm sorry, the four color sequence, dark, lighter, lighter, lightest, dark, lighter, lighter, lightest, and kept it that way. However, um, I would like to see somebody start it with the lightest and then go to like, just reverse it. So it would start light, lighter, lighter, darkest, you know, go see, I just would like to see that, but that's it guys. Get all your ends weaved in. I didn't add a border to this because it doesn't need one. It creates this pretty, this pretty effect all the way down. Cat hair. Go figure. But um, that's it, guys. Get your blanket done and then uh, stay with me because we're going to work the pillow next, okay? So I want to thank you guys so very, 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 very much for watching. You guys are the greatest. Subscribe if you haven't because you don't want to miss what I've got next. Hit that thumbs up to give me some love and support. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And in the description, blah, 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 in the description box, <laughs> there's links to my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter, my emails down there. Get, follow me on all of those. Tag me in the photos if you guys make this. I would love to see all the different colors you guys can come up with on this. And uh, that's it, guys. That's it for me. Uh. Like I said, in the description box, I'm also going to have the links to the matching pillow and the uh, whatever else I've got. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.